Optimum sustainable mix proportions of high strength concrete by using Taguchi method. In this study, 27 different mixes were produced according to high strength concrete criteria. The experimental work were designed, was designed that the experiments gave the best possible work conditions of the parameter that affect the mechanical properties using the Gucci method. In this research, 40 to 84 megapascal compressive strength concrete samples were produced and tested at different ages. According to the high strength concrete properties, also, splitting tensile strength at 28 days, flexural strength, production cost, and the slump were considered. The experimental results were analyzed according to the Taguchi method. Using Taguchi method, mixed proportions were set to be best possible levels for the maximization of compressive tensile, splitting tensile, flexural strengths, and the slump results, and the minimization of the production cost. The Gushi method reduced the number of trials by design of the experiment. The number of possible trials for parameter at L level as per factorial method design is N equal L B, where L is the number of levels for each factor and B is the number of factors involved. It. With this method, which can be applied easily by the researchers, the, resu the results obtained are possible to be standardized. Standard table known as orthogonal array are used for the design of the experiments in the Taguchi method. This orthogonal array is particular design with the symbol of L27. Each row in the array represents a trial condition with the factor levels, which are indicated by the number in the row. The column corresponds to the factors specified in the study, and each column contains nine level one, nine level two, nine level three conditions, a total of 27 conditions for the factors assigned to the column. This table shows the factor used in this uh, design experiment and the optimal mix proportion, the compressive strength, the tensile strength, and the uh, production cost, and also the slump. An experimental study was carried out to optimize the mix design proportions for high strength concrete so, uh, so as to maximize the compressive strength and minimize the production cost. After analyzing the result, it was found that higher maximum aggregate size yielded better strength. Sober blastizer is the most effective parameter for the slump. The effect of the steel fiber on the strength doesn't appear at early ages, while the most effective factor on splitting tensile strength and flexural strength, also it's one of the most effective factor on the production cost. The strength of fly ash Concrete will depend on whether a concrete reduction is achieved, plus the bosonic performance of the cement fly ash combination. Fly ash is able to reduce the heat of hydration very effectively. Using fly ash in concrete will increase the sitting time compared with an equivalent grade of Portland cement concrete. This increased sitting time reduces the rate of workability loss. Fly ash is one of the most effective factors on compressive strengths at all ages. This doesn't mean increase the strength, but fly ash replacement decrease the strength. High strength is generally the first properly associated with silica fume concrete, and increase in the compressive strength using silica fume will result in similar relative increase in the tensile strength and the flexural strength. This plays a strong role with when silica, silica fume concrete is used in flooring, bridging, or roadway projects. This inclusion of silica fume in concrete caused significant change in the structure of the matrix through both physical action and the bosonic reaction to produce a, dis a, a densified, refined, poor system and greater strength. The study showed that Taguchi method can be used effectively and economically for designing and the experiments and for determining the optimization process parameters. Thank you.